Hey guys, welcome to a quick look at my Xbox 360 controller which has been used for more than one year now. That's right, it's been more than one year and just look at the pristine quality this controller is. Even I couldn't believe it that it's been really more than a year because I bought this in last uh, February. So it's March when I'm making this recording. So it's been absolutely exactly more than a year this controller has been working absolutely beautifully for me it is obviously for the PC I am not super rich to own an Xbox 360 uh, console or even a PS3 so obviously it's for the PC the number one thing that I would like to show you is the long ass extension cord or whatever you would call it it is big look at that it just keeps on going and there is the end so it's a big extension cord so you get a lot of room to you know just connect it and then sit wherever you wanna and just play your games okay so there's a couple of things that I need to talk about I have big hands as you can see really big and this controller fits in my hand perfectly it's great for people with big hands like me but for people who have small hands maybe this way this will be a little big for them and as you can see the width of the side is the thing that will be bothering people with who have small smaller hands so but that goes with uh, all Xbox 360 controller it's the same one that they use for the console it's the same one just with the USB I guess and uh, it works for the PC Windows uh, or I don't know about Macintosh but it works for the Windows super fine so as you can see it looks brand new the texture on this is not smooth it's a little matte finish and that is a good thing because you need uh, the the grip from that matte finish you, as you can see it, it's shining it's shining but it's not smooth it's, it has a rough little texture to it it fits on your hand perfectly and it's absolutely designed for gaming as you can see you can use your single single finger or both fingers as I do when I play my games the only thing that I don't like is the buttons the buttons are glossy plastics I don't know if the camera will pick it up but as you can see the glossy plastic makes it a little slippery so sometimes when you're in you know in the whole flow we're drilling in flow of things you just might this might happen try to press the button but it just might be slip okay so let's talk about these things this is gonna be like the most important thing to talk about because everybody who is thinking about buying this Xbox 360 controller for the PC will have one question does this roller you know go out of sync after a while does it stop working after a while it's been a year and I can assure you it does not lose its sensitivity because it is perfectly working as it was working on day one and I am amazed because I was under the impression that maybe after six months of rigorous gaming this this is not gonna work as it is supposed to work but it is working supremely well supremely well and as I just said two minutes ago it's working as good as it was working on day one the d-pad is I don't know why they have this because we don't usually use it sometimes in tricky situations we might use it so I don't know about this one this is the this is gonna be the most used uh, part of the controller this is gonna be the movement uh, and left uh, uh, left stick is gonna be your movement for most of the games and it's gonna be used like I don't know 100 times to let's say the buttons which are gonna be used 75 times so this is gonna be your main area of concern and this is not losing its its sensitivity as well it's been perfectly perfectly fine okay so since we have covered the buttons and since we have covered the textures the cable let's talk about uh, wear and tear this has no wear and tear whatsoever as you can see the buttons are still shiny the center button is a little you know roughed up but still looking good and as you can see there are no scratches or you know there's no wear and tear on this even though I've been using it for one entire year can you just look at it and tell me that this has been used for one year it looks brand at brand new absolutely brand new and I'm a I'm a pretty uh, above average gamer because I I play a lot of games 
which can use the Xbox 360 controller like NBA 2K12, 2K13, FIFA 13, PS13 and all those kind of games where I can use the 360 controller to my advantage and I do use it a lot and look at that, beautiful, looks absolutely new. Uh, the main concern that I had when I bought this was these four buttons. I did not know whether these will be working fine or not, but uh, they are. They have been working fine. As I'll just show you one thing. I don't know whether the camera will capture it. When you place your hand over the button, it's a little movable. It moves a little. It's not a stiff button which stays in its place. It's move. It is a little moving. You know, it, it nudges just a bit, tiny hair, but that is what I think keeps it alive. Because if it was a stick button, like really stiff, it just went up and down, it would cause a lot of problems in the long run. Because you're not going to be pressing it like this, you'll be pressing it like this most probably. Which needs that little slack to, you know, just to provide some movement for the button to be alive. For a longer duration and that is what it does beautifully and I loved that feature about the Xbox 360 controller the only thing is if you do long hours of gaming sometimes your hand might ache if uh, you're holding the controller like this and you're just gripping it really tightly because this is so big it feels comfortable but for long hours of gaming I don't know how comfortable it's gonna be so Talking about all the things that I needed to talk about, this is a fantastic controller for the PC. You can do a lot of things with this controller which you cannot do with your keyboard and your mouse. So obviously I would recommend it for games which involve racing and sports games, sports titles. I would absolutely recommend an Xbox 360 controller. And since it's absolutely compatible with Windows which is like 90% of the OS, um, I would say just go ahead and buy it. It's a plug-and-play device. You just need to plug in uh, It's a USB device. So you just plug in and start playing the driver will be installed on its own So this is gonna be a fantastic device fantastic addition for all the gamers out there Sturdy little thing you need to have this if you're a gamer serious gamer and the only thing that I need to add in the end is This is a Microsoft product. I don't believe in that company a lot, but still they make uh, they made a great control over there the one last thing that I would like to add is uh, the dirt now I've been uh, I've kept this controller for two or three days without touching it and you can see as soon as I, I just turn around you can see the dirt that has been accumulated on the rollers and in this little crack which is really a pain in the ass to get because your hands don't get it entirely and it, it's, it is a little tough to clean, but it's not a big issue. But I just wanted to keep it that way so that I can show you the dirt that accumulates and then the places that it accumulates. As you can see, the D-pad is also a little bit dusty. So that is the only thing that I don't like about it. But hey, that's a natural cause. It's going to happen to anything. You cannot blame the controller design for it. So overall, I would like to give it a huge, huge thumbs up. Excellent controller for the PC excellent gaming device I would re highly recommend it to go ahead and buy it it's a firm investment it's gonna be used uh, for many years obviously and it's gonna be great for gaming so that was my quick look at the Xbox 360 controller hope you like my videos please leave a like comment a share and just tell me what what do you feel about uh, the Xbox 360 controller so thank you for watching and have a great time